Live from the Raymond J. Bork Arena here in Beverly, Massachusetts, I'm JJ Sylvia, welcoming you to another installment of Endicott College Women's Ice Hockey here on ECGulls.tv. We're just getting into the player introductions here, so let's meet the starting lineups for these two sides as they get introduced to the patrons in the stands here today. For the Western New England Golden Bears, it will be Alyssa Murphy on the left wing with Abby Hay at center and Katie Cronin on the right wing. As the defensive pairing for the Golden Bears, it will be Kelly Yorkie and Alexa Paoli. And then for Endicott, they're going to sport a line that has been pretty much perfection all season long with Kat Keith at the left wing, centered by Courtney Sullivan and Quinn Healy on the right wing. And then the defensive pairing, a pair that is no stranger to one another, Nicole Connor and Jess Burwell as the D pairing for Andy McPhee's Gulls who come in to this game today ranked number 10 in the country. And that's according to the last USCHO.com poll for Division Three. As the Gulls are about to be introduced here, we'll talk about some of the big storylines today. And folks, it's gonna be a really interesting matchup. These two squads are very different. The Western New England Golden Bears have no upperclassmen on their squad. 15 sophomores and five freshmen make up the roster for the Golden Bears who are led by a third year head coach, Katie Zimmerman. But the last three years for this program have been kind of on and off with Zimmerman at the helm. So it's a little bit interesting to see that they have a decent start to this year, a three one and one overall record, one and one in the CCC. And then we look over at Endicott's side with a very experienced head coach in Andy McPhee, 109, 25 and 11 overall as we will take a moment for the national anthem. We'll be back to bring you the starting goaltenders next here on ecgulls.tv. And welcome back to the Raymond J. Bork Arena, everyone. J.J. Sylvia along here with you. Let's meet the starting goaltenders for both sides. First for Western New England, it's going to be Riley Jesse Gorelli. And Jesse Gorelli this year in four games is 2-1-1 one, one with a 1.96 goals against average and a 948 save percentage. And then it's going to be Michael O'Brien in between the pipes for the Gulls. O'Brien this year, 0.33 goals against average and a 982 save percentage as we're underway here at the Bork Arena. Rice and Kuhlman will dump it down into Western's end once again. The pressure from this chemistry line has been strong the last few games as Franceschini tries to walk in. Kuhlman helping her out. They score! JC Kuhlman gets the goals on the board first. In the very early part of this first period, one nothing, Endicott. Now Miles goes up top, pass to the near side. Hentosh fakes the shot, and now looks back up top once again from a shot through traffic for Barletta that got blocked. Barletta going near side again. Hentosh, another shot through traffic, tipped in front, they score! And a second tally here with 4.40 to go in the first period, and it's Catherine Miles to do the honors. Two squads, goes and will play tomorrow and they score again. It's Courtney Sullivan, who kind of caught the whole Golden Bears defense off guard with a quick turnaround shot and a three nothing and the cut lead. Toward goal by Kelly Yorkie. Now a chance brewing here for Western. It's a foot race up the ice as it's tracked down and a shot for a stop by Michael O'Brien. Work back out in front, they score! And a much needed goal for Western New England and it comes off the stick of Allison Walker. And what was once a three goal lead has been reduced to two. Three to one now in favor of Endicott. Giving way for Kuhlman, now Fantasia and Hentosh who just came out. Hentosh will give and go with Fantasia. Back door, trying to find Sullivan, and Courtney just couldn't tuck it in that near post. Fantasia to grab the loose puck for Hentosh, and now Popkin with some space. Her shot, she scores! Kelly Popkin with the fourth and a cut goal. In there first on the forecheck, Healy emerging from the pack, looking for a passing lane up top. Burwell, her shot, and a stop by Jesse Gorelli and a rebound went wide. Goes still pressuring, Sullivan, top of the circle. Waits, goes back door, Keith 
trying to tip it in, and it goes wide. Up top, Jess Burwell collects it in her skates, goes far side for Connor. Connor, her shot through a couple of blockers, gets through, but not much of a stop to be made there for Jesse Gorelli. Cat Keith up top for Connor, and now to the near side, Burwell. Burwell, her shot, Jesse Gorelli the save, and Keith to gather it far side, trying to feed it high slot, and it trickles past Courtney Sullivan's reach and down into the goal's end. Clock will trickle down and strike zero with the horn sounding to conclude this game today. Final score here at the Raymond J. Bork Arena this afternoon, the number 10 ranked Gulls with a four to one victory over the visiting Western New England Golden Bears. Getting the win in between the pipes, it will be Mikhail O'Brien. She'll improve to four and on the year and 12 and in her career. Riley Jesse Corelli will take the loss for Western New England. She'll drop to two, two and one and a gallant effort by both squads today, but Endicott coming out victorious. Goals scored by J.C. Kuhlman, Catherine Miles, Courtney Sullivan, and Kelly Popkin to account for all four Endicott tallies, and Allison Walker, the freshman, had the only goal for Western to account for their tally, and the final score of four to one in favor of Endicott. That will do it for us today. I'm JJ Sylvia wishing you a good rest of your Saturday afternoon. And if you're interested, stay tuned for the men's game, which starts at six o'clock also against Western here on ecgulls.tv.